Alright, welcome back everyone to an at coder problem with no input. Where... <laughs> I'm assuming I can't just output the empty set, right? We're gonna, we're gonna see if the set is not empty. As, as written right now, I think the empty set passes. Because all four numbers are zero. Uh... <laughs> yeah, if I just print zero, will, will it get mad at me? <laughs> I think it might get better at me. Uh... <laughs> On the website it says non-empty? Where does it say non-empty? I'm reading the website and it doesn't seem to say non-empty. Anyway, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll just assume not empty. Oh, the number of spins is between 1 and 10 to the 5. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Anyway, yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Um, I think it will ban you from the site if you print the answer. <laughs> Alright, well, let's actually do the problem. Alright, uh, okay, so... Okay, so the, the observers are coming from west, southwest, south, and we need like way, way more southeast points is the TLDR. Um, so... Is 10 really that big of a number? Okay, I mean, so we, we have a bunch of blue lines, okay, and um... Like, okay, if, if there were only two directions, it would be very clear what to do, right? The idea is that you take, like, some arithmetically independent... I, I don't know what I mean by arithmetically independent. But you do something like this, such that there aren't coincidences. Like, there's at most two points going this way in each direction. And if you do it like that, um, like, the number of X and Y coordinates is, um, at most is like linear and the number of things going this way is quadratic, so you're okay. So the challenge is that we also have an observer looking from the southwest, and so we need to somehow... Um, yeah, we, we need to have a lot of things lying on like these sort of things. So I think I still like the idea that... Um, Is this a 3D problem? It's not, right? Maybe? I, I, I just do this to get it, so it remind me. So it's, it's kind of like, um, I do want to pick the... Okay, like, how, how, how much stuff can I get this way? Um, like, if I have a set of, let's say, like... Oh, no. See, I, I drew it this way because the, um... Okay. I feel like 10 is not a huge threshold, though. Uh, mm, Okay, so let's say I let A be the number of things here. Let's let A be the set of um, X coordinates and B. Oh, actually, let's use X and Y just so I don't confuse myself. Uh, X and Y. So what I would like is there to be not a lot of different values of X minus Y, but a lot of different values of X plus Y. So I want... I want some set structures which for which there is a more many more x minus y than x plus y. Okay, can I do that? 
Did I, did I get the direction right? Sorry. It, it's... <sighs> Many more x plus y than x minus y. Wait, hang on. Now, now I'm a little confused. I feel like I should have been able... They should have been symmetric because I could have negated one of them. I guess maybe I don't want to... Yeah, I feel like I should commit to the set of x and y coordinates in advance, though. Um, I, I feel like I should commit to sets x and y, and then for values of k, like for choices of, like I, I pick like, I pick like a hundred values of x-ish and like a hundred values of y-ish, and then I want to like... go through values of k, which I guess corresponds to differences, and then... Pray. <laughs> yeah, like I, I need many more differences than Yeah, I need a I need to get a factor of ten. Picking triangular numbers for x and y. How big is ten? Like, how many decimal places would I? If I can then rig it such that, um, like, I imagine a decimal place, like, no, sorry, binary, binary or something, where like x minus y is like, uh, Like, I, I, I want to say, like, what if I require that every, um, like, the, how, how do I say this? X contains Y as, like, in, in terms of binary number or something. 
So, if I make it such that if I consider binary strings of length m, well, we'll, we'll decide how big m is later, such that, and then I let x be, well, we'll just let x and y run over all two to the m things, like two to the m-ish things. And then I take all the pairs for which, um, like the, uh, shit, I don't want to use quite, I, I want it to be, sorry. <sighs> Zero. Okay, so for x, we'll allow, we might need to do this in pairs or something. So like zero, 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 one. Yeah, or so, so something stupid like this, right? And the point is that if you look at possible values of x plus y, you could get zero. Okay, I, I'm gonna use base three, all right? We're gonna use base three. Um, ha ha ha, base, th base three in competitive programming, who knew? Um, base three. We're gonna say x and y all have digits zero or one only. And then we also, we take all the pairs x comma y for which, um, like the, you know, x is, x is like a superset of y. We'll say that these are like length n things. So we get two to the n pins. Um, yeah, so these will be numbers of length 3 to the n, and, like, the number of values of x minus y, um, I hope it is x minus y. I mean, actually, it doesn't matter which way we, we do it. Like, this will, this, there will be about, so, because you can get, there's, like, 2 to the n values here, but x plus y will have 3 to the n different possible values. And then, let's see if this fits in time. So, 3 halves to the n... In order for this number to exceed 10, how big does n have to be? Hey, anyone wanna compute this log for me? Like, n equals 6 is good enough, even. Right. Isn't this the entropy? Yeah, I, I totally believe that. This this seems like the kind of thing that um, additive combinatorics people would be interested in, which thankfully doesn't include me, because additive combinatorics scares the hell out of me, and I ran away from that field a long time ago. Um, but I think, yeah. This, this feels like it should work. How many points... Okay, if I take n equals 6, it's like... Uh, actually, that's a lot less than 2. I feel like the numbers are almost too generous. Did I even have something up? Does n equals 6... We can take like n equals 8 for good measure or something. And then the numbers will go as high as 3 to the 8, which is well less than 10 to the 9. Um, really? Does this work? The bounds are indeed very generous. Okay, well, that's good news for me. Uh, all right, let's implement this and submit it on AppCoder. AppCoder takes Python, right? <sighs> all right. All right, so we will... I think this is, will just work. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, and I think it's fine. And I just need to not mess up the implementation. <laughs> um... Uh, this is episode 144. Okay, um... Bowling.py. Well, we will use our native programming language. Wow, input... Problems with no input are so nice. 
So for iter tools dot product, how big is three D eight? Yes, tiny. Okay. Okay, so we'll we'll do the X. Actually, I can I can just square this, right? Okay, so if any X seek I greater than less. Can you and then uh, all right, well, we'll define f Well, we'll just return some uh, 3 to the i times seek i for i in range Uh, okay, whatever. Thank you, Sets Math, for the follow. Um, okay, print f x seek f y. Oh shit! I need to count the number of things. Well, okay. I also know how what the count is. It's like there's three to the end things, right? All right. Does this do what I want? I've I mean, it might work. <laughs> can, can I just bump this to 10 for a safe measure or will it? That, that, that seems like it fits in the time limit. Uh, no, let me just stick with. Let me stick with, let's do nine. It doesn't need to be an even number. I hope this will work. I, I don't know if this will actually work. Uh, waiting judgment. Accepted, hey! All right, you were right, that was pretty good. Alright. Uh, wait, wait, this one, this one. <laughs> Alright, um. Alright, yeah. Uh, what's the official editorial? Let's find out. It says there's no editor. Oh, here. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, and it was a 3D problem! What? I even said it earlier, and it was like... <laughs> okay, well, well played. Um... <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, yeah, that, that, that was... Wow, that. <laughs> oh my god. Did not even do additive combinatorics. Alright, well. What a problem. Um, well played. Uh, Alright, well, I hope that was entertaining. Um, yeah, that, that was the experience. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, and for those of you on YouTube, we'll see you next time.